Are you ready to see the biggest leaf in my collection? What is up my planting people? My name is Lithius and welcome to Roots Ready. It's that time of the month. I'm gonna be going through my top five favorite plants for the month of June. Make sure you stay till the end because I am gonna be showing you the biggest leaf in my collection and you will not regret it. first plant I want to talk about today is this one right here, my Crystal Sperma Johnsonii. And you could, uh, you could tell exactly why this plant is on this list this month. Look at the size of this leaf. It is literally the size of my hand, got quite big hands as well. You know what, this plant, this leaf was growing, right? And I thought it, it, so it got to about this size and I thought, oh, that's it. It might get maybe a little bit bigger and it just wouldn't stop growing. I should have taken the hint because this stem over here just kept on going and going and going and got taller and taller. I've had to relocate this plant three times now. It was in my mini um, Ikea greenhouse. It's a really small greenhouse that's meant to sit on your window ledge and it very quickly hit the top of that. Uh, I then moved it out. I placed it in front of my east facing window it didn't like that. Um, I came back after a couple of hours and this leaf had completely wilted and it was looking sad. Um, I don't think it was used to that sort of direct, it, it, it was used to a lot of light because it was directly under a real light and that was for 12 hours a day. Uh, but it wasn't used to that kind of heat because it has been quite warm these past couple of days. Um, so when I noticed that, I quickly moved it out. I placed it into this IKEA grow tent behind me on the top shelf, which is a little bit smaller and again, it hit the top of that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to do something else. So then I kept it in this one and I moved it to the bottom where there's a lot more room for it to grow. And it has just been phenomenal. It has been excellent. I have enjoyed, I've enjoyed growing this plant so much. You can see some of, at the bottom of here, we've got a couple, like over here, just here, you can see that. That's a new shoot that's gonna come out very, very soon. I noticed today that it's a lot longer than what it was when I checked on this plant maybe two or three days ago. So I imagine we're gonna get a new leaf out of this and maybe I can pull out the little sucker and maybe sell that on to somebody that wants to grow this amazing plant in their collection. I am so pleased to have this plant, right? And I know this plant gets absolutely, absolutely huge and I'm trying to get it there. Oh, look at it, look at that venation, the detailing and the leaf. Um, for a long time, I was thinking to myself, is this leaf gonna sort of fall back over and sort of be facing sort of this direction or like this? Um, but then I noticed that in the wild, this plant actually does grow like this with the, the lobes um, pointing downwards and that tip pointing upwards. So it's a bit of a weird one, but I really do appreciate this plant. At the moment, I'm only growing this plant in my greenhouse or in my grow tent, um, but I would really love to pull it out and get it somewhere a bit more central, just to allow people to, you know, really appreciate the view of this. I'm going to have to do it sooner or later. If we're looking at the ratio in terms of how quickly this plant sizes up, then yeah, I'm, I imagine the next leaf is going to be even bigger and it will soon outgrow this as well. So I need to start thinking about that. I will say one of the things I think contributed to this plant growing this huge leaf was that I sized it up. It was in a small, really, really small, uh, maybe a two or three centimeter pot, so not, not big at all. And it, in that time, it gave me sort of these leaves. Um, and then I sized it up. I wasn't gonna take it up by one, uh, just like one. And I thought, no, I need to take it up much bigger. So I put it into this pot, which I think is about a 10 centimeter pot. Um, and I imagine again, I'm gonna have to get an even bigger pot just to promote, just to allow the roots to grow, to get themselves into that pond um, and to really fill it up, just to allow the plant to continue to grow and continue to size up because, oh, I can't wait. Can you? Look at that. So this is the Crystal Sperma Johnsonii. Get your hands on one if you haven't got one already. We are getting closer and closer to the biggest leaf in my collection. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. But until then, I want to show you this plant over here. This is my Hoya Linearis. And oh, 
in my last Hoya video, I sort of shared with you guys how I've been struggling to grow this plant. I think I've had it in my collection for about a year. And in that time, it didn't do anything, didn't do much. I remember I got it as like a, like two stem cuttings or, you know, quite, quite long, about, about two, about four inches uh, in length. And I chopped those up and I repotted them into pond. Um, and for whatever reason, only two of those cuttings survived. The other ones rooted, but it didn't produce any growth. So you can imagine my excitement when I look at this plant and I can see all of this growth that's happened in literally like the last two or three weeks, if that. I don't even think it's three weeks. Um, I did take some propagations from the bottom of the, this stem and... Is it? Yeah, these two stems over here. Look, I was getting confused. So there's two stems here. I took some propagations out of that and I potted them in. And this time, instead of having them as a single node type of um, cutting, I had two leaves on them. And they have been doing phenomenal. So I've learned my lesson. Um, all of them have rooted and all but one have produced uh, a new vine. So, for example, you can see they're very, very tiny little things. Oh, here we go. You can kind of see that one just here near my finger um this one over here that's a that's a new shoot um and the rest of them yeah likewise are growing very very well the older stems are going absolutely crazy look at all of this growth i don't know what it's doing i thought that this plant would you know sort of fall over but it's not doing that it's stretching out for the light it wants it it wants to grab onto something um <laughs> And it's it's not finding anything, so it's just going to continue until I guess it, it gets a bit too heavy and it starts to sort of pull back down gravity and all that. So the reason why this plant made it into my favorites video is because I'm just so happy that it's finally finally starting to come together. It took me way too long, a year, but I think I've got there. One of the things I've done to really help um, promote growth on this plant is I moved it from a semi hydro set up into soils. I moved it back into a mainly coca coir uh, pond. I've got a little bit of um, of uh, of regular soil in there as well. Um, so that's really helping and contributing to this plant growth. Because this plant um, did responded so well to being in soil, I actually moved the other struggle hoya that I own, which is the um, Meridithii. I moved that back into soil as well, and that is doing great. In fact, it has three new growth points. So, you know, it's about being attentive to your plants and, and trying to work out exactly what their needs are. But guys, this is just a gorgeous plant. I can't wait for it to fill out and just to cascade across this entire pot but until then this is it this is the Hoya linearis we're almost there we're getting to the main event but you won't be disappointed by this plant right here this is my anthurium cuter cuets and guys look we've got its first tri leaf i'm not sure if it's called a tri leaf but for the purpose of this video i'm going to call it a tri leaf look at this we had single blades right so here we go single blade single blade single blade and i was like okay this is this is getting a bit long now uh and we had another single blade this one did however have a little inkling of something a possibility that we may have some lobes you can't really see it um, because this leaf is just getting in the way. So there you go. Let me get my face out of the camera. So this one had a little bit of an indication that it might be preparing to throw out some lobes. But guys, I didn't expect this. This ain't lobes. This is the full thing. This is the full shebang. I am so over the moon with this plant, with this leaf. Look at it. We're finally here. Granted, it is a little bit smaller than the previous leaf in terms of length. I thought it was gonna be you know, similar length to this, but for whatever reason, it wasn't. But I put that down to the fact that it now has three lobes. So, you know, from here on, it, it will start to get a little bit bigger. But guys, this has been oh, a journey. I remember when I first got this plant as a two leaf cutting, um, one of the leaves was in fact one of these trifectors. Um, however, it didn't survive. It very quickly fell off. The bottom leaf sort of stayed around for a little while and I think eventually it fell off. But then since then, I've regrown this entire, entire plant. And it's been a joy, a pleasure to grow this plant. I feel really privileged. Uh, if you don't know, this plant is 
very very rare in the wild if you're going to invest in this plant you really have to take time to understand what its needs are to ensure that the specimens that we are keeping in our homes we give them the best possible start and the opportunity to really just continue this plant because otherwise uh, it could quickly go extinct in the wild and if we have the privilege of looking after it in our own homes let's do what we can um, so i'm really privileged to have this plant and i think i'm doing something right because in fact and indeed it is growing and it's starting to mature so that's really really good sign for me i think the next thing i have to do is just to get it on an actual moss pole so you can really sink its roots into there you can see that it really wants to look at those aerial roots um, that are just coming out of everywhere i've actually had to direct some back down into the pond uh, some of the lower ones and those have rooted up really really well got a really full rooted pot in here so i'm really really pleased to, to sort of have this plant and to see it doing so well my mum's already told me that she wants a cutting so yeah i'm gonna have i can't say no right how do i say no to my mum when she when she saw it on my video for the first time she was like i want a cutting <laughs> And now that it's got this tri leaf, I'm sure she's gonna want one even more now. So um, eventually, I'm gonna have to propagate this this bad boy. Uh, <laughs> what can I say, my mama's boy? Uh, but yeah, this is it. I'm so happy. From here on out, we're trying to see how much bigger we can get these leaves to go, and just to keep pushing out and to keep growing and to keep growing. So this is it. This is the Anthurium cuticulens. Look at that. We're going to stay right here on the Anthurium train and I want to introduce you to the newest, the baddest king in the kingdom. Look at that. Oh, wait. Ah, look at it. My Anthurium is killing the game right now and I couldn't be any happier. Look at it. Oh, bigger than my hand. So much bigger. A great size up from the previous leaf and you can see those abs. You can see those abs. Oh. Like father, like plant. <laughs> right, so I've been trying to go hard in the gym lately, but this one's outdoing me. Look at all of those six packs and those. Oh, look at it. Oh, putting me to shame. God damn. <laughs> no, no, I'm playing. But guys, listen. When I first got this plant and it started putting out leaves and the leaves, this it came with this leaf. And the leaves were just not impressive. At one point, it gave me this little thing. I was like, what is that? Um, and then it, it went to this and it started sizing up. I was like, okay, cool, from here we might get there. But then the next one came out and it, it was a good jump up, but it wasn't as sizable as I, as I wanted it to be. Um, but then, boom, it hit me with this one and I was speechless. I was absolutely speechless. And the fact that I have this plant right up against an east facing window where my other plants at like the Crystal Spurna Johnsonii were wilting and like burning, I had to move my um, anthurium, my queen anthurium into this grow tent because the leaves um, got a little bit of sun, sun damage. Um, but this one just kept going. It kept going. I was just like, nah, that don't, that don't phase me. I'm good. I'm Gucci. <laughs> and it just kept doing its thing. But look at this. I am so pleased. Ah, look at it. It's so elegant. So pristine so beautiful i really love the way that it grew and it hasn't got a blemish on it like i kept my hands well and truly away from this leaf because i really wanted just to take in just the just the undisturbed natural beauty of this plant and we have it we have it i've even sized it up as well it was only yesterday actually i moved it into this larger pot it was in a four inch i need to in a, it was in a 10 centimeter pot, right? I'm not sure what that is in inches. Um, so quite a smaller, much smaller pot. So it sort of jumped up quite a bit, but it did have, it was very, very well rooted in there. Because of the success I've been having by increasing the size or the pot size of my other plants, I've decided to do with this, this one as well in the hopes of getting a much bigger leaf next time. So it worked really well on the Johnsonii, on my Hoyas as well. Um, and on my uh, some other plants as well, just giving them that extra space to grow and to spread their roots was really, really beneficial. And you can kind of see, although this was still in the smaller pot at the time, I'm really excited to see what the next leaf is going to look like. I think it's going to be a beast and you're going to be here for it. When that new leaf does come out, I'll be here. You'll be the first to know. Uh, so definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, because 
you don't want to miss any more of this. So there you have it, the Anthurium VCI, also known as the King Anthurium. Ah, oh, what a stunner. What a stunner. Drum roll, please. Are you ready to see the biggest leaf in my collection? This the one that you've all been waiting for and I've kept you waiting long enough. I'm just gonna get straight into it because words can't describe what I'm about to show you. Ooh, wait, look. Yo, da, 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 da. Okay, all right, look at this. Look at the size of this and it's not even hardened off yet, guys. This is my Anthurium Magnificum Cross Regal, also known as the Mad Rag. <laughs> Let's hope that name sticks. Look at it, guys. This leaf measures 60 centimeters, 60 centimeters. From the floor to the top of this lobe, this plant is a meter tall. Uh, oh, okay, let me see if I can give you a little bit of a spin. Look at that, oh my days. <laughs> Oh my days, look at the other leaves. The previous leaves were impressive as they were, but then this one, oh my days, look at this thing. I'ma just let you guys take it in. Oh, take it in guys, take it in, take it in. Look at this plant, gorgeous, everything about it. Those iridescent veins in that sort of off green leaf. Oh, it's just phenomenal. Oh, guys, I'm going to put it back down because the floor is getting wet. Can you believe it? Oh, my days. So that is the Anthurium Magnificum Cross Regal. Oh, oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say other than it has been my privilege to grow this plant and it hasn't disappointed me. I changed up the, the plant, the pot size. I went up by two sizes and it gave me this leaf and I couldn't be happier. Look at this plant. Oh, I don't know what else to say. If you look at the inflorescence as well, you can see that some of the fruits are starting to develop because I did pollinate this plant earlier in the year and it's been doing really, really well. It's taken a little bit of time to get to this point, but still I'm really pleased. I actually thought that when I pollinated this plant that it was gonna send all of its energy to keeping this inflorescence and all these fruits alive and that the next leaves would be similar size to the previous one maybe even smaller so that was my expectation usually to predict how large your anthurium leaf is going to be you have to look at the stem or the petiole rather um, and it was it was the same size as the others to be fair um, and it took a little while the only thing was that it was much longer than the others and I just thought that is because it's maybe trying to reach towards my grow light or something um, but it wasn't it was just preparing me for this and look ah uh, oh you know what? I'm even gonna pick it back up it was heavy but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it because I need to show you guys look look at this oh, oh my days ah oh, I'm so pleased I'm so happy. And the best part is it hasn't even hardened off yet. I measure this plant every morning. I'm not gonna lie to you, even before I go to work, I measure it. And I like to see how much is growing in that day because it actually grows quite quickly. At one point it was growing two centimeters a day. This was when it was really sort of pushing. Um, and it just, I just thought it wouldn't stop. It's now slowed down. It's now at about maybe half a centimeter a day because yesterday when I measured it, it was 50, eight centimeters this morning it is uh about 58 and a half near you know nearly 59 centimeters but it is slowing down uh but just yeah for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna call it 60 centimeters oh i think it will touch that 60 though it's looking incredible oh my days but i think as i said with my other with the other plants si upsizing your plant pots at the right time is essential to sort of continue that growth if you want larger leaves anyway your space might not allow you to have leaves this big and for that reason you can keep your pot sizes a lot smaller but i am trying to get the most out of this plant um so if you do want that you can try to just make sure that as soon as you kind of see the first roots poking its head out 
um, from the bottom of your pot, so you're starting to see roots along the edges, you, that, you're pretty safe that you can go up a size um, or two. Um, and I'm, yeah, oh, guys, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the highlight of this video. This is the Anthurium Magnificum Crossword Frugal, the Anthurium Magrag. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in finding out how to pollinate your anthuriums, there's a video I will link right here in the card. So definitely go have a look at that. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, keep planting.